Don't be surprised if we manage to get some signal hiccups through. We're still learning about what that wake will actually look like in practice and whether we're able to get that live continuous high speed data during because this onboard view that we have is on the end of a flap. Starship has front flaps and, and rear flaps in the vehicle. Um, so we've got four of those. And oh man, we can see the heating on those flaps as we're starting to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. This is where the Earth's atmosphere is doing the work to slow us down. Uh, now, like we said, this plasma field wow. is, wow, what a view. We hope to maintain these views throughout. Starship is so big that we're hoping that the plasma field doesn't entirely blanket the entire vehicle. Right now, it is not. The Starlinks are still... brought to you by Starlink. <laughs> yeah, the Starlinks are still communicating and still uh, capturing the data and the video that we see here. I mean, Shiva, this is just absolutely incredible views. We've never seen anything like this before. This is the, the biggest flying object ever in space. <laughs> absolutely, Kate. And, and it's important to note, with the ascent burn that we did was to get us to orbital velocities, even though we were on a nearly orbital trajectory. So the heating and the loads that Starship is going through right now are what it would be getting if it were recovering from an orbital mission. And, and just the fact that we have views through entry, this is incredible. Yeah. Again, this is the furthest and fastest that Starship has ever flown. And you can definitely tell by the, uh, the crowd here in Hawthorne. The heat shield tiles doing their work. We talked about it earlier. Uh, up to 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit that those heat chill tiles are dissipating as we are re-entering. Yeah, now this was one of the critical, or, or rather the key uh, mission objectives that we were hoping to hit today. Uh, we have never, like I said before, this is the fastest and furthest that Starship has ever flown. So this is the first time that we're getting to collect this re-entry data and understand how these 18,000 hexagonal heat shield tiles are working together to protect the belly of Starship as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, once again, the, the atmosphere is doing us a big favor here by... The atmosphere is actually doing us a huge favor here by acting as a braking system for Starship um, as it re-enters the atmosphere. And that's part of the reason why the flaps are so important. We're using the body of Starship and the drag from the atmosphere to slow us down from orbital speed. But you want the vehicle to remain stable. You want those heat shield tiles pointing need to be reusable. This is an animation of pretty much what we were just watching on actual Starship video, which is pretty incredible. Um, but we go through peak heating. Uh, one of the benefits of today's trajectory, actually, we got closer to what the heating profile will be on just a normal mission uh, when you compare it to our previous flights, which were headed out to Hawaii.